Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, we're fine, thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, we're fine, thank you. Very good, good morning class. Good morning, teacher. Okay, so let us have our prayer in the name of the Father. And I am your teacher Shane Daida. And I am your teacher April. And we are your teachers for today. Okay, is anyone absent today? No, no teacher. Very good. So now let us review our classroom rules. The rule number one, to listen when the teacher is talking. So the teacher is talking, what they're going to do? What are you going to do? Listen. Very good. The rule number two is to raise your hand before speaking. What you're going to do if you're going to talk? Raise, raise your hand. hand. Very good. And the rule number three is to always be respectful for the people around you. Okay? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Very good. So today, before we proceed to our topic, let us have an energizer first. So I want you to stand up and follow the teacher's lead, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is to show your hands. And like this. Like this. And the next step is to hold them. And to show them. Okay, are you ready for this for our activity? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. So, in three, two, one, go. I have two hands. The left and the right. Hold them up tight. So clean and bright. Clap them softly. One, two, three. Two little hands are good to see. All right. You may now take your seat, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Very good. So our topic for today, I want you to describe this. What is this? A, a story teacher. A story room about a rooster. Okay, so did you know that this book is a magical book which contains magical stories? Oh, wow, teacher. Okay, I want you to buckle up because we are going to uncover the story of the live fox and the little red hen. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Very good. So once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She lived all by herself in a little house in the woods. Who lived in the woods? The little red hen. Did she have a company? No! Very good! Near the little red hen, there lived a sly young fox. He did not live by himself. He lived with his mother in the den. So who lived in the, near the little red hen? The sly young fox. The sly young fox. Um, was he alone? No! Very good! So the sly young fox wanted to eat the little red hen for his dinner. Yes, he made all sorts of plans to catch her. He tried many, many times to catch the little red hen. But she was very wise and clever, the little hen. Not only the sly young fox runs worse, he grew quite thin trying to catch the little red hen. But she was a wise little hen. Not one of the sly fox plants worked. He grew quite thin trying to catch the little hen. So because of the little red hen 
was very clever, the sly young fox did not catch her. But one day, the sly young fox said to his mother, Today, I will catch the little red hen. I have made the best plan of all. So, all of the plans, of all of the past plans, this is the best plan. So, he picked a bag and slung it over his back. What did he do with the bag? He slung a bag. Very good. He slung it over his back and said, I shall put the little red hen in this bag. He said to his mother as he went out. So, he was ready to catch the little red hen. He went out. Put a pot of the water in the fire to boil. He said to his mother, and then, we shall have the little red hen for our dinner. And that when the sly young fox went out and touched, tried to catch the little red hen. And the next thing, the sly young fox crept to the little red hen's house. So what did the sly young fox do? Crept in the little red hen's house. Very good, he crept. He tried his best to enter the hen house or the little house of the hen. He hid himself by the side of the house and waited because the little red hen was out pecking her wings for, for her meal. Soon, the little red hen came out of her little house. She did not see the spy young fox. She began to pick up a stick for her fire. What did she pick? Sticks. Very good. The little red hen had left the door open. When her, when her back was turned, the sly young fox crept inside the house. So what did the sly young fox do when the little red hen goes out? Crept in the side ears. Very good. So the sly fox hid behind the door. The little red hen carried her wood into the house. She shut the door, then she saw the sly young fox. So now, the little red hen came back from her journey. Can you describe this picture? Scared and chicken picture. Very good. So the poor little red hen was very frightened when she came back to her house. Because why? Because she yeah. saw the fox eat her. Very good. So she dropped the wood as she came to her house. Then before the fox could move, she flew up high beyond a tree. And then up on the high beam, the little red hen felt safe. Why did she felt safe? Because she was in a high beam. Very good, so that the sly young fox could not catch her. So she knew that the sly young fox could not get up there. Ha ha, you can't catch me, Mr. Fox, she said. You had better go home, he said to the little, little hen. Oh, so I can't catch you, said the sly young fox. We'll soon see about that. Then the sly young fox began to chase his tail. So the sly young fox was on the ground while the hen was on the high beam. High beam, very good. So the little red hen looked down from her beam and watched him. Round and round went the sly young fox, round and round without stopping. What did the sly young fox do? Round and round. Very good. You follow the tail like this. Can you see? Yeah. Very good. Soon, the little red hen's head began to go round and round, round and round. She became so dizzy that she fell down from the high beam. So, she fell down. And ha ha, said the sly young fox as the little red hen dropped into his bag and said, Who said I could not catch you, little red hen? So the sly young fox slung his bag over his back. So what did he do? He slung his, his bag, bag over his back. Very good. And sat, sat off for his den. So he goes back home for their dinner, which is the? 
was a little heavy. And it was a very hot day and soon he fell asleep. But when the fox was asleep, the little red hen popped her head out of the bag. So this is the little red hen whose head was popped up out of the box. Then she crept quietly out. And then the little red hen then picked up some big stones. What do you think they'll do to the big stones? Throw it to the fox. Throw it to the bag. Throw it to the fox. Put it to the bag. So she put the stones into the bag. Then back home she ran. So she ran as fast as she could because the cyan fox was asleep and she's scared because um, what if the fox will wake up and chase her? And the next day, when the cyan fox awoke, he did not know what had happened. He picked up his bag and sat up for his den. Dear me, he said to himself, this bag is becoming heavier. So she said to himself that the bag was very heavy for him to carry. As the cyan fox came to his den, he shouted to his mother, I've got the little red hen! At last! Is the water boiling? He asked his mother. Yes, my son, said his mother. Then the cyan fox opened the bag over the pot of boiling water. What do you think have happened? The big stones fell into it. Very good. So the big stone fell into the boiling water and with a very big splash, like splash, the boiling water splashed with it, to the both of them. So the boiling water splashed all over the sly young fox and his mother. So what what do you think happened to them? Big fast food teacher. Very good. Yeah. They were burned. Their skin was burned due to the boiling water. Boiling water. Because the boiling water was very hot, the both of them was killed by the boiling water due to the splashing of boiling water. Then the little red hen lived happily ever after. Little house in the wood. Wow. Very good. So, do you like the story? Yes, teacher. So, what can you say about the little red hen? Very, very, very good. So, she was very smart. Yes, yes, teacher. Very good. How about the sly young fox? So, he was very hungry. He wanted to eat the little red hen. Because he was hungry, he desired for food, and, um, and they have no dinner. Do you understand the story, everyone? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, so are you ready for our next activity? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Very good. So the next activity will be facilitated by Miss Rosby. <laughs> All right, Miss Teacher Williams, love telling story. Let us now say we like your story. One, two, three, say. We like your story, yes we do so. Thank you, thank you, yes we do so. Don't forget to come again, to come again. Thank you. So now, who are the characters of the story? Miss Hazel, the characters of the story are the little red hen, the, the young fox, and her mother. Very okay. good. Let's give Hazel a door in a club. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Ding! Ang ato! Door na! Alright. So now, the characters of the story was was the mother fox and the baby fox or the slide fox. Can anyone describe the mother fox? Can you describe the mother fox? The mother fox eats her 
is the one who lives on the other side of the wood and she is also the mother of the young fox and he, she is the one who sets the, the water boiling for the little girl. Very good! So the mother fox was lived on the other side of the wood and she was the mother of the Saya. Very good. And she was the one who was selling the water boiling for the little red head. So now let's move on to the slide fox or the baby fox. So the baby fox was the son of the mother fox. So he was the one trying to catch the little, little red head. Very good. So did did he catch the little red head? No. No, not yet. What did he do? Yes. He creeped into the house of the little red head and no one. And he yeah, but the little red head fly into the hot bean. Very good. So now the next character of the story was the the little red head. Can anyone describe the little red head? Yes, Rika. So the little red head picture is um she 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 was the one who lives near the woods all by herself and she was also the prey of the sly fox and a clever little red hen who managed to escape from the sly fox and she also escaped from the coming the dinner and live happily in her hen house. Very good. Let's give Rika a sex bomb club. Do you know the sex bomb club? No. Yes. Oh, right. So let me teach you the sex bomb club. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get, get. Oh, all right. Triple oh. up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get, get. All right, the mother red hen lives near the woods all by herself. So she is the prey of the sly fox. All right, she is also very clever and wise. So did did he escape from the um the sly fox? Huh? Yes. Oh right. So what did she do? He grabbed teacher, young head. She popped up. Pop. She popped up to the back and then she picked the big stones and put it in the bag. Very good. So the moral of the story is the importance of vigilance and the quick thinking when faced with danger. So when you are the little red hen, what would you do if someone is trying to catch you? Run, teacher. You run. Shout for help, teacher. Very good. Fly, teacher. You want to fly your wings? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to say the most important thing is that we should what? Be alert. Be alert. Be vigilant to face. What? Danger. Danger. All right. Now to have some activity. Let's call on teacher April. So good morning, kids. So now that we all understand about the story of the sly fox and the little red hen, we will have a short brain teaser. So do you want to play? Yes, yes teacher. So this game is called Riddle. So I will group you into two. So this will be group one and this will be group two. So instead of raising your hands, you will make the sound of a chicken. So what's the sound of the chicken? So are you ready? Yes, yes teacher. So a tale of two in a game of wit, in the story, I am clever and quick. Who am I? Hey, Hazel. The red Very good. So in the stories, for shadow speak with cunning eyes and stealthy try, he'll steal your eggs in the blink of an eye. Who am I? We actually the top teacher. Very good. I grow in fields as far as the eye sees. 
harvest me carefully, for I am fine. A staple food for both yours and mine. What am I? Mika. Drink teacher. Very good. Last one is, I am cozy place where hen lays eggs. Protected from foxes, we rest our legs. What am I? Hazel. Hen house teacher. Very good. So our winner for this game is group one. And we'll give them a chicken clap. So this is the chicken clap. bad intentions or the bad attitudes or bad actions and what I've learned that the uh, little, little red hen is that we must um, think wisely, we must think um, advanced so that we will not believe. Okay, very good. How about you Hazel? Um, I've learned teacher that do not do to others what you don't want them to do to you, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you, Hazel. And that ends for our discussion for today. Goodbye and thank you, class. Yeah. Yeah.